If you're in slow tanks and make no mistake, you've come to the right place. Just give to Neil the time to straight up blow your mind with a new show of joy and a blank. Welcome back, folks. This episode has been a long time coming. Let's talk about animation memes. I've done a total of three animation memes for my channel now. The Floor is Lava, Upside Down, which was commissioned by the Fabtastic Domino Claw, by the way, and hey, if you'd like to get an animation meme done by yours truly, you know, just send me a PM and we can talk the deets. And perfect. Before I did any of my own animation memes, I wasn't really interested in doing them. I didn't think there was anything wrong with them, but they didn't really seem like something I would be into. But hey, here we are three memes later, and let's talk about the discourse surrounding animation memes. And I'll take you through my thought process on creating each one of these memes, as well as give you some of my opinions about animation memes as a whole. Plenty has been said about this topic already, and I'm probably coming into the topic way too late to have any real hot takes. But this has been on my mind for a while, so here we are. First and foremost, the biggest thing I want to talk about right away and get clear is this myth that animation memes are lazy. I hear this complaint all the time, mostly from people who couldn't draw their way out of a box, mind you, but okay, let's stop for a moment and really tackle this one because this honestly gets me every single time I hear it. Do you know how long it takes to do a single drawing? Just one colored line drawing? Do you know the pre-planning that's involved in making a puppet animation move? I hear a lot of people say that they don't like animation memes because a lot of them use tweening and use a single image and just move bits of that image around to create the illusion of movement. And people complain about this as though it's some new phenomenon that has taken over the pure art of animation where everything should be drawn in 24 smooth frames per second and anything less is spitting on the graves of the nine old men or some baloney like that. This is not a new thing. In the late 50s and early 60s, this kind of limited animation is what saved animation from becoming an abandoned art form. It's the reason you had a plethora of cartoons to enjoy as a kid, and you can thank limited animation for making animation more approachable to all kinds of artists and ideas that would otherwise never see the light of day. Secondly, you know that animation memes are made by, like, typically one person, right? You know, limited animation is still the standard in most big budget television shows with, you know, an actual crew and group of artists. But an animation meme is made by a singular person doing all that work and most times doing it for free or in their own free time. The fact that they planned, followed through, and actually finished the dang thing all by themselves is impressive enough. That's passion, not laziness. Anyone who comments on an animation meme saying that they're lazy I mean, it's the internet and you can do what you want, but I'm gonna let you know right now. Your opinion is invalid and you should probably just not watch memes if you don't like limited animation. Now, sure, there are some people who do have the time to go all out with animation memes and that's wonderful, but simple animation memes shouldn't be looked down upon with such vitriol considering that even if it's literally one or two characters being slid around the screen, it still probably took that artist several hours to get all that put together. I know that for people who don't do art, it's easy to take the time an artist spends on their work for granted, but please just be considerate of things like this. All three of my memes took me weeks to do in between other projects, so it's not like I just hashed any of these out in an evening. All of these took a long time to do and I'm sure other animators have taken longer on their own projects. That doesn't mean they're immune to criticism, but I also just feel that a lot of people commenting on these don't understand the first thing about animation. So. With all that in mind, let's talk about the animation memes I've done so far. First up is The Floor is Lava, which features a lot of Warriors OCs I made with Morwen and Water. I really liked seeing the different versions of this meme when it was really popular. I even remember when the original one came out by Painted Serenity. A really fun, cool concept and a good way to practice run and jump cycles. I had wanted to try doing an animation meme and was considering a whole bunch of different ones, but my biggest problem was that I couldn't really pinpoint how to make it my own kind of thing. I love it when I see people take animation memes and give it their own slight twist. Adds to the fun, so I wanted to do that. 
When I got the idea for The Floor is Lava, I realized how perfectly it fit with my character Patchwind and the situation she was in at this moment in the story. It would be a perfect moment to sort of gamify, and since Patchwind was the comedy relief of the group, the meta-ness going on here would be fun to play around with. As it's likely that Patchwind herself would see this perilous situation as some kind of game she could win. I could even do a bit of character animation here by changing her expression from scared to determined once the real game began, and Patchwind even has a bit of fun by roll jumping to get more points. Since this was my first animation meme, I wasn't sure if all the changes I made to the original would be appreciated or not, but no one's told me otherwise, so I guess I'm good. <laughs> Going into some of the process behind this, you can see how in Toon Boom I set up my camera to get a nice parallaxing effect in the beginning, and how I use different effects in the program to simulate lighting in this dark tunnel. I have no idea if this was a smart decision or not, but I'm no background artist, so this is what I thought was best at the time, and I actually made the entire background that Patchwind runs on here one large background, and I had to time out the scrolling so that she jumped at the right places. <laughs> oh, it was a nightmare! But I also didn't really feel like trying to figure out how to make a nice looping background with pits layered on top. I don't know, maybe that would have been easier, but what's done is done now. I always think it's fun to look back on a project like this and see the secrets that are happening off screen. It might be a bit immersive breaking to you if you rewatch the animation, but now you know that Dusk Shadow and Wolf Ember here are missing their eyes and Patchwind just sort of dissolves into nothingness rather than falling. She don't feel so good. <laughs> Even though this is an animation meme, I wanted to make it a fairly cohesive story to follow. And of course, there's actually quite a big cast of characters here besides Patchwind that I had to establish quickly in the beginning and at the end. And if you're familiar with my Simi Speaks video talking about designing for multi-animator projects, you'll see that most of them are definitely not animation friendly, including Patchwind herself. So, I try to keep the other characters' involvement to a minimum and not add a whole lot of unnecessary work for myself. Remember, there is no shame in cutting corners when you're doing your own personal projects. In fact, it's a good skill to have. Don't overwork yourself for something that could be done faster and easier. Even though this is a scene with six characters, I only draw all of them when absolutely necessary to show the story beats, and only draw the other characters a maximum of like four times. I had a lot of fun doing this animation meme, and it definitely made me start looking for more to do, especially once it gave me a chance to animate my own OCs. Next up is the commissioned meme I did for Domino Claw. Domino was kind enough to give me a few different ideas and memes to choose from, and I actually hadn't seen the upside down meme before he showed it to me, but when I did, I immediately fell in love. I love edgy animation memes like this. Animating characters being traumatized or angry or evil is just so much fun for me. You get to play around with a lot of extreme emotions and it's all just right up my alley. I love this stuff. The animation that inspired this one was also just mm, mm, so good, so cool. I love it to pieces, and I would look back on it constantly for inspiration on this one. The animation was a lot more involved in this project than in The Floor is Lava. Lava only had about three animations, running, jumping, and then the roll jump. But this animation meme had a whopping of seven different animations, all varying in complexity, but generally more complicated than a movement cycle. This animation meme was a lot more about character animation, and honestly has some of my favorite animation lip sync I've done in a long time. This upside in particular was a lot of fun to animate. I wanted to make sure I kept the teeth solid, so I did a drawing of Domino Claw's skeleton underneath on a separate layer to keep his teeth in place. Then I could animate the mouth movements on top so his fleshy bits are moving but his chompers stay solid. And as you can see from looking at the different stages of the progression with this meme, a lot of the final touches that really make the animation work were done in the final stage. Things like the red lighting, the camera shaking with the blood splatter, and Domino Claw's face coming out of the darkness to say down are all things added after all the animation was done and I exported it separately into After Effects. 
If you're an animator, especially if you want to do PMVs and fast editing and such, do yourself a favor and learn how to use After Effects. It can really make a difference in your work when you do some basic editing in there. There's certainly ways you could work around animation programs to make them do work like this, but in my own personal experience, if you have After Effects available to you and you're not using it, try it out. It'll be a good tool to add to your arsenal. And now for my most recent animation meme, perfect. This is such a happy little fun meme, and I was feeling so inspired to do something with Wild Fur and Spotted Shadow since I've been getting a lot of lovely fan art for them. Although, a lot of what's been said on my end about Spotted Shadow and Wild Fur has been pretty angsty, forbidden love, fueled drama, and I wanted to show more how their relationship actually works, with Wild Fur and Spotted Shadow admiring each other and being cute dorks together. Cause that's way more accurate than all the pining and such that I've alluded to. All the animation in this meme is very limited, basically just keyframes to show the implication of movement. There's a few reasons I chose to go this route this time instead of full on animation. A, there's still a lot of different scenarios the characters are in here that I had to draw. Even with the limited animation, there's still about 30 drawings here. <laughs> That's what I mean when I say people take limited animation for granted. But I digress. Another reason I kept it simple was because that I felt that it fit the beat of the song better just to focus on keyframes. And while I could spend dozens more hours to make it more smooth and poppy animation to hit the beat, I could also not do that and save myself time and energy. And the final and most important reason, I wanted to release this on Valentine's Day, so I made sure to keep myself in check with what I could realistically get done by then. Again, After Effects really helps tie this whole thing together. This episode of Drawing a Blank was a little different, but I hope you guys enjoyed looking at my thought process here for these little animations. I'm definitely going to continue doing animation memes when I get the chance, and another idea that I really like. Have a good day everyone, and I hope you all remember to please stay inspired.